plaintiff, Lisa Slyke, has known the defendant for 14 years and says she's nothing but a cougar who dates men 20 years younger. Lisa's suing the defendant for rent and the cost of food. Defendant Virginia Fletcher says she does not like Lisa and never has because she's a vindictive liar. Virginia claims Lisa even spread rumors that Virginia was selling marijuana out of her home so she would be evicted and she's countersuing for stolen property. And ma'am, you're suing your ex-boyfriend's aunt for $2,325 for rent and the cost of food? Yes, sir, I am. And you're countersuing for $2,000 for stolen property? Yes, Your Honor. Start with you. I've known Miss Virginia Fletcher for about 14 years now, Your Honor. She's very immature, very... How uh, so? For one, she's a cougar. She goes out with guys 20 years younger than her because that's about the mentality level. You ain't gonna hate on us for that. <laughs> <laughs> she, she can be very vindictive, very unappreciative. She always has to be the center of attention and she's very much of a drama queen, Your Honor. There what has your relationship been in the 14 years that you've known her? What has it been like? Very rocky. There have been many times, Your Honor, I've gone out of my way to get Virginia to like me for the most part. I have gone to the extent of even painting her house while she was out of town, putting flowers in her flower bed, doing nice gestures. None of them are appreciated or even thanked. Did she ask you to do those things? The statement was made before she went out of town. It would be nice if she came home and her house well, was man, nice and put together. She didn't tell you to do those things. That's called stalking <laughs> <laughs> and trespassing. I had permission by her brother to be on the ground, sir, at the time. All right. Go ahead. But I have gone out of my way many of times to be there for Virginia when nobody else was. How often would you come in contact with her? Quite frequently due to the fact we have a child together and they happen to live in the same residency. Okay, now it makes sense. All right. You want to give me some background? Yes, Your Honor. And she painted my house canary yellow, bright canary yellow. Right? Without your permission. Without my permission. Painted and your it, house yellow. It was bright. Well, yes, at least the trim, it was like it canary was. Canary yellow. Canary. Right the brightest canary yellow you have ever seen in your life. But um, Lisa's done nothing but cause me problems ever since I've met her. She's very vindictive. She's a liar. Um, she went to school with my landlord's granddaughter and she went out of her way to look her up, take her out for lunch, and tell her that I was selling marijuana out of my house, knowing it would get back to my landlord. Why do you think she did that? It's true. She, because she's vindictive. Vindictive about what? You had to have... About what? You what know, does she Your think Honor, you did to her? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, we clash, like she said. I don't like her. I don't. I never have. Why? I don't. The way she presents herself, there's always a big scene when it when it comes to her, and she's she's she a liar. She says the same thing about you. <laughs> we don't she like each other. She said you're a drama queen. You make a scene. You lie. You what else? That's she's not cool. true. She you're is a cougar. You do got, you got a 20 year old boy. I'm a cougar. Boy. I don't do that anymore. You got your young man no, for real. I think I'm too old for that now. <laughs> no. But oh. I did it in the day. I, they were always 20 years younger than me. In the day? Me. Yeah. Right. Uh, you but, still smiling about it, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with that. That sure know. isn't. Yeah. Now, what do you say to your nephew when you all have these issues? Um, usually it, it keeps us from speaking to each other. I, we, you know, we're, we're usually estranged. I live with my sister and my nephew now. I have for about six months and, and everything's fine. But in the past, in these past years, it's been that we're usually estranged because of the way that okay. she and I get along. All right, ma'am, what is the lawsuit about for rent and food? Miss Virginia Fletcher was finding herself to be out in the streets, Your Honor. She had nowhere to go. So I offered her, because you don't let family go on the streets, I offered my couch with the understanding she'd pay $550 a month rent along with half the food because she was working. Were well, you all on the ocean side? <laughs> California. California. $500 to stay on the couch. California, Your Honor, $1,600 a month. How many bedrooms were there? One. Oh. So you paid $1,100. Yes, All sir. right, gotcha. Okay. And that was the agreement. She would pay $550 a month for the couch. And you're suing for the cost of food. What was the agreement on the food? Half. Half of and all food. It usually averaged around $4 to 450 
What months month. did she fail to pay? January, February, March. All right, and when you spoke with her about it, what was her response? Um, she didn't have the money right this second. Her car needed work on it. Um, she owed somebody else the money. That's that not true. That is not true. That she owed them before she owed me, so she wouldn't pay. But the last one was the best one, when I was accused of stealing jewelry. And I was a California notary for nine years. Plus, I have a letter of reference, of character reference, from an employer. That are says you, you don't steal. Are you, are you I, saying I'm a good person, and I'm, I'm not like that. The way that she you don't paints steal. me out to be, yes, sir. And what she mm. paints me out to be is totally incorrect. Well, you know if you don't get caught, they got to say you don't steal either. <laughs> So sir. a good thief could always have a reference letter. Well, there you go. At least they're a good one, right? Right. So you got a reference letter, right? Yes, sir, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, let me hear from you on the rent and food. Well, I, it's not that I didn't have a place to go. She offered me a place to stay, and um, I needed to get, be out of my house in a certain amount of time. And so we agreed that I would stay there and pay five fifty a month and half the food. Well, I wasn't there but maybe two weeks, and I noticed that my stuff had been gone through. And when I looked, my jewelry was gone. I, everything that I've owned since I was um, 18 or Where 19. Where was it kept? Um, it was kept. I didn't have a dresser Under or anything. Under the couch. It was kept. It was. It was hidden. <laughs> it was. It was hidden in the corner. I had just my suitcases and stuff. That's what I'm I didn't saying. If you slept on the couch, meaning you right, didn't have didn't, a room. I didn't have a room. So or it dressers. Was, but it was hidden in, in my bags that were in the corner. I mean, yeah. it was put. It was put away. It and I been noticed her transient that, friends. And I noticed wow. I, I didn't have any transient friends, and I had no one over there. Not no, true. I Go didn't. Go ahead, man. And my stuff, I could. I could tell that it had been rummaged through. And when I went to look. That's counterclaim, ma'am. Let's talk about the rent and the food. Oh, the Did you pay January, February, March? No, rent? no, sir. It's almost immediately when I moved in, I noticed that my jewelry is gone. I understand. And I, Did and you stay there January, yes. February, oh, yes, March? Sir. Did you yes. pay January, February, March? I paid nothing. All right. Why? Because she's because my jewelry was All missing. All right, so why did you stay February, March, if your jewelry came up missing in January? Because I, I had to look for a place to live. And Another it couch. Me, and it took me two more months. And where did you find? I, what did I find? I yes. Found, I found a, I rent a room that was a lot less expensive and... And it took I, you two months to find a room yes, to rent. Yes. Yet you say this woman was rummaging through your things, she stole your things. Yes, did you file did. a police report? I didn't file, I thought about filing a police report, but I didn't, I was advised by certain friends not to that Why? know her also. Because she's very vindictive and I didn't know what she would do and what she was capable gotcha. of doing. Gotcha, all right. What about the food? What about that? Did I you my pay own anything food. for? Did you I, all have an agreement that you would pay for half the yes, food? Yes, but I bought my own food. I didn't eat her food. You did have an agreement. Yes. All yes. right, and so you broke that agreement. That I would pay half of yes. her food. Um, yes. Okay. I, well, then you have to pay for an agreement you break. Let's see what you have. Now we can get to your claim. Your counterclaim is uh, she stole two thousand dollars of your jewelry. Yes. Now tell me about it. Well, like I said, I could tell my stuff had been rummaged through, mm -hmm. and 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 my jewelry was gone. I have a list of my jewelry right Including here. Including the ring you borrowed of mine, and right? And then I had, that that's not true. It is true. And then I have a statement from my sister stating she helped me move and she helped me pack. Mm -hmm. And this is from her stating mm -hmm. that I did have what was on that list when I moved in there. All right, and you were there three months, right? Yes. Did any person come to visit you? Yes. Okay. Any person come and visit her? Yes. How many people came to visit you? Not very many. Very few. How many people came to visit you? Pretty much or not. All right. So we have at least four people that were going in and out of that house. Yes. If we include the two of you, we got six. How am I to hold her liable for something that happened in that house to your property when there were six people coming in and out? And any of the six could have went in your bag that was there in the open and rummaged through it. I see. Well, Who did you talk to, by the way, when it first came up missing in January? Her. I talked to and her. What did she say? She said that she didn't knew nothing about it. And, and then what did you do? Talking about it. You left it alone? I told, I knew in my, I knew that she did it, and I told her that I wasn't going to pay her any money until she came up with my jewelry. Did she tell she you that? she hawked it. She either hawked it or she Hold still Hold on, ma'am. Did she tell she you that? She accused me of it, Your Honor, but I have a witness here. Did she tell you she would stop paying rent until she got her jewelry? No. Yes, I did. That's not exactly how it was put. Yes, I did. She says, I don't owe you anything. I have jewelry missing and items missing. That is what she anything. told you then. That's the same thing. <laughs>
What is it you want your witness to tell me? Come on up, sir. State your name. Uh, Ronald Hunter. What do you want me to know? Uh, I was just there when they made the verbal agreement for um, the living arrangements. And then one day I was kind of eavesdropping on a phone call. Who you eavesdropping on? Your woman? No, my oh, aunt. Oh, yeah. Well, I was just walking by and, you know. Uh -huh. yeah, anyways, um, ear hustling. That's what they're ear hustling. <laughs> I heard her talking to one of her friends saying that she wasn't really sure if she stole it or not, the jewelry. But um, that's not true. At least she doesn't have to pay the money she owes her. That's not true. Ma'am, she's proven that you failed to pay your rent. You acknowledge that. Yeah. You have the burden of proving that she stole your property. And you've told me that you've had a few people coming in and out. She had a couple people coming in and out. You didn't even go to the police and accuse her. I was too afraid you to go to the police. You moved some months ago. Yes. And you were still afraid after moving out. Yes. That she would do what sure, to you? Sure, sure. That she would do what? Anything. anything. Okay. She's Your claim is anything. dismissed. I don't believe you. Judgment for the plaintiff. She says she didn't go to the police even today because she felt you would do something to her. She felt you would get her. And I said, what do you feel she would do to her? Anything. So, judgment for the plaintiff. Your claim is dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. Probably gonna be the same way it's always been. Just Uncomfortable. Well, probably really doesn't change a thing. But I know she stole my jewelry. I did not. She did. She's a drama queen. She never admits when she's She always accuses other people of doing things. That is not true. Oh, that's totally that's true. That's not true.